Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in to the video on this 2007 Ford F-150. It's going to be a pretty uh, unique video. You don't find a whole lot of trucks uh, like this in this good of shape. Uh, so we're going to go through it, go around, I'll show you the underside of it, and uh, just try to give you a great overview overall of uh, what you'll get if you come look at the truck. Starting off up front, it is powered by the 4.6 liter V8, was the smaller V8 uh, out of the 5.4 or the 4.6 uh, offered in these years. Um, in the front here, you got that classic, uh, that Ford grill here. You do have the uh, body colored trim around the outside, the black molded on the inside. Um, you will see some chips and things like that. We're going to go over all the imperfections uh, that you'll find on the truck at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Uh, looking at the bottom, it's also a body colored lower bumper. Uh, one thing I will point out, a lot of these steel bodies, those bumpers are all rusted up. This particular one's in great shape. Uh, fog lights inlaid into that lower bumper there. Coming around the side, you'll see a Mastercraft Courser uh, all-terrain tire here. That's about three quarters tread, uh, mounted over a uh, pretty good looking alloy rim there. Do have uh, black matte uh, running boards there. I have an accent the previous owner installed back over this section of the truck. We could likely take this off if uh, you as a prospective buyer didn't like it, if you were committed to the vehicle. Uh, there is a chance that underneath it, the paint would be slightly faded, so which is why we chose to leave it on. Uh, with this aged truck, if that stripe's been on there for a long period of time and you ripped them off, there's a chance the paint underneath is faded. It may or may not be. You can take off a little piece to find out if you didn't like it. Uh, molded mud flaps in both the front and the rear just help protect the truck from uh, chips and things that could get thrown, up, thrown off the road. Uh, do have a hitch with both four and seven pin wiring down there. Um, all your F-150 and your four badging back here. Nice uh, trifecta 2.0 soft tonneau cover here. Take a look inside of the bed. It is a spray-in bed liner uh, with the four tie downs, one in each corner. Continuing up this side, those matching coarser tires go the whole way around. Equally good tread depth. Actually, the rears might be a little bit better, actually. Um, continuing up here, obviously on your mirrors, they are uh, pretty standard looking mirrors from that era. Um, I do have the little blind spot uh, segments that were installed by the previous owner, these can be taken off uh, if you so desire. They can also be turned just to whatever blind spot uh, you happen to have as a driver based on your own dimensions and things. Um, crank windows it is a, most of the things in this truck are manual. It is more of a work truck. It does have the vinyl flooring in it. Um, manual uh, lumbar adjustment there, manual uh, seat tilt and manual slide. does, however, have sort of an odd thing for work truck adjustable foot pedals. So you have all manual adjustments on the seat, um, and then you can adjust the foot pedals to help you get situated into the door. Let's start it up here. It's a 2007 with 98,500 miles or just around there. Um, so it's in excellent shape uh, for both the year and the miles. Uh, Four-wheel drive selector over here. Uh, your radio, pretty standard stuff, AM, FM radio, CD slot, uh, all that stuff. Uh, air conditioning. Taking a look inside the console here, find not only the books but also the results of the multi-point inspection we performed while it was in our shop and anything we did to it while it was here. I uh, did give it an oil change. Uh, the front rotors, or excuse me, the front tires are 8.30 seconds, the rears are 9. So that's about three quarters of the original depth that comes on that tire. Uh, and we did put all new pads and rotors the whole way around the truck. So your wearable parts are taken care of for the foreseeable future. Last part of the video is going to be the uh, imperfections walk around. Um, starting off up front here, there were some chips and little imperfections in the hood, especially right around here. A couple little guys, some through there. Lower piece of the bumper looks pretty good. Like I said, a lot of times those are all rusted. This one is not at all. Um, it does have some chips, as you would expect, that match the chips that are a little higher. Uh, rims overall in pretty good shape. Some of this baked in brake dust would not come out in the detail process. Uh, that's about as good as they're going to get. Uh, they're not chewed up or anything. They're not banged up, cracked or anything like that, but they do have a little bit of baked in brake dust on them. Same with the rears. Uh, overall truck is pretty good rust wise on the body. Um, does have a little tiny bit starting right there. You can see if you look on the inside of this though, I'll do my best to try to show that. It's not like it's all rusted in here or anything. It's not coming through anywhere. Um, it just happens to be kind of starting right there. It looks like the uh, at one point in time, maybe that got dented, uh, which started it right there. Um, 
probably actually put a little touch up over that, try to seal it up a little bit. Continuing back into the back here. Obviously your Ford logos, they have a clear coat over them that starts to fade over time. Couple little chips here. One there, scratch. Trying to be as thorough as I can. The truck's actually in great shape for 2007 with 99,000 miles. Obviously a great price point, four wheel drive. Um, for anybody, especially that needs to haul anything in the bed once a uh, more of a work truck style of truck. But there are some imperfections that we just want to make sure everybody's aware of. Some, again, chipping, a little bit of paint coming off there from things hitting it over the years. But the thing everybody wants to see is obviously the frame. Um, so frame has had some rust on it, particularly around those welds. Um, looks a little rough right there. If you back into the back here, it's actually pretty darn clean overall the inside of your rockers again overall pretty pretty darn clean for 2007 but there is some we just like to be as straightforward as possible uh, we, we uh, believe the truck was good enough to sell past all of our standards uh, it would make somebody a great uh, work truck just trying to be very thorough here on the video if you'd like to stop out take a look at the truck you can stop out and see us 21518 great cobra in mccallsburg pennsylvania Visit us online at thomasata.com or give us a call at 717-485-4224. Thank you very much for watching the video. Hope you found it to be informative, straightforward, and helpful to your shopping process. Have a great day.